Hi guys, welcome to Quick Auto. I'm starting with a series of videos where we'll be discussing on Selenium basics. Also, how to easily interact with different web elements present on the page through Selenium with some tips and tricks. Today, we'll focus on drop-down web element. Let's start with an example. I'm on the Mercury Tour page. It's a handy website to practice with Selenium learning. The link will be provided in the drop-down box. Here you can see we have a country drop down. I clicked on it and the source code verification part. So if you can see it is included in the select tag, select start and end tag. And all the options available in the drop down are included in the option start and end tag. To interact with this options to interact with these options to select any options, we have three possibilities. One is the visible text, you can see the Albania. We can enter visible text and provide Albania. We have another method called value. You can see the value option here. If I provide the value, then that particular option will be selected. We have another option, we have another possibilities called index. The first will start with index 0, then 1 and 2 and 3. If you will select index 0, then Albania will be selected. 1, then the next, then 2, then the next. Remember, it starts with index 0. The first step will be locating the web element, the country drop down. Here I have located it through the class name. Then we will be using select class here. Select. Selenium provides a class called select to help interaction with drop down element. And it has multiple helper methods included in it. It is an ordinary class. Object is created by a new keyword as you can see. And it takes web element as parameter. It has taken the locator drop down web element as parameter. And it has it provides three possibilities as you have discussed. Select by an index, select by a visible text, select by a value. So the first option here I am showing you is select by index. It takes, as you can see, it takes uh, int as input. So I am providing 0 as input here. If I will change it to a string, then it will throw error. Because it accepts only integer as input. So now I am removing it. You can see the error. I'm removing it and I am changing it to int. Now I will go with the second uh, uh, possibilities which is select by a visible text i'll be providing input it takes a string as input here i'll be providing india as input oh it got selected as deselect i'll remove it and make it as select by visible text This is way to select by visible text. Now the third option will be select by value. Again, I will be taking the same select object and call select by value. It takes string as input. The value will be the value that we have seen uh, inside uh, this uh, HTML source page. Yeah, so I am entering this value here. And this will be the possibility number 3. These all are select by index, select by value, select with visible text are helper methods of select class. When I run this program, it will run quickly in a blink of eye and you cannot exactly understand what got selected. Hence, to delay the execution between each step, I am entering, I am introducing slip here. Slip 3 dot slip take input as millisecond and this input cannot be negative, remember. Thread dot slip can be used to pause the execution of current thread for some specified millisecond. And when you are using this thread dot slip, you have to throw some exception. It is checked exception. If you will not throw the exception, it will throw some compile time error. To be very precise, it throws illegal argument exception, but you can put any exception. 
just to avoid the error part. Let's just run the program and see how it behaves. Before running, let's reconfirm the options so that we can confirm whether the options we have selected are working fine or not. So when I'm providing index 0, Albania should be selected. I have provided it in comment. When I'm writing select by visible text, India should be selected. By value 3, Algeria should be selected. For confirmation, yes, Algeria, H3, Albania, each option, index 0. And of course, when I'm writing select by value, select by visible text, India, India will get selected. Uh, and I have provided a dot slip in between to pause the execution in between for 3 seconds so that you can understand what is getting executed. I did right click on the application, run the Java application and now it's running. Albania got selected, paused for 3 seconds, India got selected, paused for 3 seconds, Algeria got selected. And now the program got closed. We have, uh, instead of using the select class, we have other options just to select via locator. Like here in the first option, if you can see, I have written the select the class country in the option 2. In the second option, I have provided in the locator, I have used other red value equal to 234. And in the third option, I have Retain the text as India. So these are nothing but replacement of the select classes. If the particular object, if the particular web element on the web page has not been implemented via select start and select end tag, the one that I have shown you in the demo page, then how we will be interacting with the drop down? We cannot include select object at that time. That is why I have written these replacements. Now I have right click on the program and run it. A Java application. See again, we are selecting Albania, we are selecting India and Algeria. So if you are not using select class, the built-in method, built-in class of Selenium, then also you can interact with drop-down.